Hello, creative people. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Josh from Create the Future, playing a little Tectonica. In today's episode, we're going to check out this radio transmission, and it's most likely going to give us some new coordinates. In the last video, we built the core composure and, and started organizing all of our research nodes. We created some iron frames with our assembler. Everything is currently out of power, so let's give this a nice little charge, even though I don't think, I, yeah, I took all the iron out of here. But we do have quite a few iron frames in here, which is nice, and we'll be able to start building those. We laid out the framework. We threw us cargo down here to just put some random stuff and things in here that we're not necessarily going to play with. But yeah, we're, we're starting to, to have some sort of basic functionality, but yeah, let's check out this radio transmission and, and see where it points us. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Exceptional dimensions. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Exceptional dimensions. Not sure why this is continuing to uh, to flash, considering we got the radio transmission. But yeah, let's just start going over here. So we got RH. Not even sure what that stands for, but let's uh, go into our menu. And repairing, deciphering. I don't even know which one this is. Let's just let's start walking this way. <laughs> so this video is like it is it's explorative, but at the same time it's it's automation. It's like the the mix of all the great worlds. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. Awesome. So we're gonna make our way over to this RH signal to see what's over there. Can't tell if that's something. Scannable or what? What? Oh, it's just a plant. All right, let's see if we can make our way over here to the RH signal. Try to figure out what this is. The other day we came over here and we were gathering some of these and got the the seeds for the silver throne, which is what we need for the uh, the coolant. So we'll be able to to start creating that and just kind of collecting a lot more of this. I don't know why I'm hand collecting this. It could just pull out the uh, the miner and just drill right in, but I'm not seeing a way to, to get in here, so we might need to drill through the wall. But I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna be able to to do so, but let's just let's just try. Let's see if we can dig here. I don't know if this is a uh, it doesn't seem to be a protected area. On the mini map, yeah, you can see that there's a there's something in the top right. You can see that there's something right here. So you can kind of see the, the frame of a outlining of a building here. Kind of digging through. Oh, we overheated. A bunch of silver, the silver throne seeds over here. Ooh, that's creepy. Yeah, that's creepy. But we need to get in here. Wonky. That's a lot of. Rocks and stuff in there as well. There's a wall here. Let's see if we can get around this wall somehow or another. Or if this wall is going all the way back here, I'm not sure. Seems like it's gonna keep extending up. There's no. Oh. There we go. So we're inside here. 
seems as though that cable we were uh, scanning earlier seems to, to go through here. So let's see if we can dig out this way. Seems to... Okay, there we go. For a minute I thought it was like a protected area. But it's... Uh, we're digging through. Let's see where this goes. It's got to connect out to the outside world somewhere. Looking at the mini map on the, the right, it seems to come out here at some point, somewhere, and connect to the main world. I feel like we're lower though. I feel like the main world's higher. So we might need to go up a little bit, but I'm gonna dig out a little more and the giant rock here that I dig through. Yeah, for some reason I feel like we need to go up. Yeah, here we go. That's right. Like, I feel like we're lower. Nice. So let's go in here and see what we can find. Door unpowered and secured. Door unpowered and secured. Okay, so... Is there a way to... How do we power this? Can we throw a crank here? Maybe? To open this door? Door unpowered and secured. Is that possible? Uh, there we go. I see Jack threshers. A warehouse. I knew that gigantic door was a good sign. Scan this place for some basic electrical machines, especially those planters and threshers on the racks. You can pick up anything else you can find. Nice, I saw some threshers here. So it's good that we have those. You got a bunch of extender arm inserters here. Got a bunch of components, but yeah, these threshers, this is what we've been looking for. So now we'll be able to, to get these technology and we can start building these things out. Nice. Yeah, ooh, an acclimenter. Lots of good tech fragments here, but I doubt we'll find anyone to rescue. People would take what they needed and get back out there. And I just realized these are scannable as well, so let's get all these components. Ooh. So this is the filter inserter. This allows you to, like, pick up certain items and it'll skip certain items so that you can kind of organize all of your stuff. We need to scan 10 of these to actually unlock it, which there's definitely a lot more than 10. So now we have that. Nice. So now we're just going to get components for these last ones. And I was kind of searching these storages as I was going through them as well. That one had some stuff in it. I feel like this is going to be a good spot to just like to store up. I mean, these storages are already here. We can interact with them. We got a conveyor belt here. So eventually we might be able to use this facility to um, store some materials for us. Because yeah, these conveyor belts are already here. There's a lot of these filters. It's like, I, I like it. Get all these components. Get, we're gonna bunch of electric components and it's also adding an inserter. I just realized that. Or is it? Or is it just... Yeah, we're getting insert. So we're getting like... That's funny. Oh my gosh, there's more back here. Getting a whole bunch of stuff in this warehouse. It's like the jackpot, like Sparks said when we first came in here, she's like, jackpot. A whole bunch of stuff in here, what's this? 
Oh, I get some symbolers. Oh no, this is a monorail system. What? Nice. So we got a way to move around in the uh, the area and maybe transport stuff. How do we get up here? It looks like there's something up there. Maybe not. Let's go check back here. There's a door. So we need 40 processor units. I don't even think we have one processor. We don't even have one processor. Supply facility access door with self repair materials. Tier 4 technology required to manufacture. Look through the window breaker. I can literally see the mining charge tech fragment on that table. What kind of miserable bureaucrat puts high explosives behind a securely locked door? You think we would be here if we didn't know what we were doing? I want you to fix that door as soon as possible. I want you to blow things up. We're gonna blow things up, sounds good to me. And look what we got here. I'm gonna get this menu. All right, I got it, go away. Oh, to manage the journals. There we go. Let's get rid of these. Trying to get rid of these messagings. So that we're not. There we go. Now we got access to the planners so we can start building. Our fuel system, nice. Dude, we're getting all the scans, in here, all the scannable materials in here. Kind of going around and looking to see if there's any. Here's a box. It's like there's always hidden stuff. That you can kind of, you gotta be on the eye, the lookout for. Some more planners. A whole slew of them in here. I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> All I need to do is look backwards. Okay, so let's um, let's go up here, and then how do I get up there? There's some stuff to scan up there. And more threshers. So we scan all of these, but there's a whole bunch of components. Oh my gosh, look at all those planners on the left. This place is a freaking jackpot. There's so much stuff to scan. Look at all these planners. I wish I could like just capture all of these and just reposition them because there's so many of them. Craziness. Alright, so we got all those. Hey, there's another door over here. Can we get in this door? Nope. So we have to unlock that door. That needs processor units. Not seeing any other storages. We got that one earlier. I feel like we got everything in here until we can bring those processor units. Yeah, it seems like we got everything. And all these storages are empty. And it seems like there's something up there, but I don't have anything to get up there yet. I don't know if that's just a plan or something else. So we're just gonna head back. I'm gonna delete this for now. And uh, we're just gonna head back to our base and think through, here's a scannable. Think through some of our next, hey, uh, upgrade size let's go actually like explore in this cave a little bit see if there's anything back here because this was a big cave it's like weird glowy dirt there's something back here what's this oh here we go sleeping bags what if everything else is right where we left it my camp might as well be too 
If you were part of my crew, you'd probably recognize this place. Procedure was to take a portable habitat module into the field. That wasn't for us. So we rigged an assembler to make all this instead. We did everything our own way, but whatever they needed for the expedition, we found. People leave you alone when you get results. Those were good times. At some point, something else started to matter. The part is all a blur. I know we were supposed to go home. I'm trying to figure out this, what this glow dirt's for. It's scary looking. It's like glowing. There's so many freaking new plants in here too. It's like, which ones of them do we need? Oh, oh, nice. So it was just a plant, but we were able to get up here. So right here's where we were, we were down here trying to figure out how to get up here. There's nothing up there. <laughs> Actually, just gonna get the mole out. Yeah, just clear a bunch of this stuff out. I don't seem to see anything else. There's iron back here, which is nice. So much like stuff all over the ground. It's like hard to, to walk through here. Just gonna like clear out a path. Trying to get my way back to where we came in. Which was right over here. Whoa. Explosive. There we go. Now we're back to where we started. So let's put that down and we're just going to head back over to the base and start planning through now that we have the threshers. In the uh, the planters, we can kind of set up our first little system. I was thinking, first and foremost, let's set uh, set up our planters so that we can um, start creating our fuel sources, and then we'll set up the threshers to uh, so that we can start creating that the plant matter, which is what we need to upgrade. Upgrade the term Victor Victor terminal. Nice. We got this giant floor here. So we're gonna go ahead and, and create some fuel sources to automatically funnel to our our drills and our refiners. I need to first look at this tech tree. It's so dark in here. We need a lot more research though to unlock any of these things. I was hoping to um Oh uh, yeah, we need I feel like I had some in here. If I go, yeah, I got four, but let's go ahead and just create all of these. And we'll start populating them so we can get some more research going. And then uh, unlock some of these things. I want to get some 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 better lights because right now it's super dark. And of course, this has taken a while <laughs> contemplating setting up this system to automatically create these things. But for now, we'll just kind of. Just have to kind of let it slowly go. So let's go in here. And we're gonna go to we're gonna clear this. We're gonna clear these planters and the monorail systems. And then uh, we're gonna go into our tech tree and see what we need. We got the light stick, and then that should give us the overhead. But let's go in here and see what we need. We need a lot. 12 and 15. We got our filter inserts, fair upgraded conveyor pelts. We can upgrade the amount of inventory slots in the cargo. So 
So we got a couple things in our inventory that we could probably just go ahead and, and put down. So we got two of these accumulators. So let's just set these up here. Task inbound. Accumulator. Stores electrical power for delayed distribution. So each of these holds 20 mega joules. Is that would that be the the thing? Mega joules, mega joules, megawatts, mega joules. So I guess we can store power for I don't know why. Like we're accumulating 900, but I guess the idea is like if these, like I guess the power production, the five minutes runs. We we notice that they're not running. This will allow the stuff to run at least a little longer before everything just stops and then that way we can we can get back to cranking it so I'm gonna go in here and, and kind of just clear some of this stuff out of my inventory considering we're accumulating a lot of it I'm gonna get rid of sparks I don't think I need her for her to be able to talk we're gonna get rid of the seeds we'll get rid of that we did get hey we picked up one of those plant matter frames but we need a lot more what is this? Al uh, adal adalum ingots? It's kind of like an alien version of aluminum, I guess. So we'll throw that in there. I think that's all of the weird stuff. Everything else we need. I might as well throw these light sticks in because we're not going to need them. Because I want to get the upgraded lights. But let's get the, the seeds. We need the soil. because so we're going to start thinking through the, the planter setup. There's some more stairs. I guess we could have had those for over in that other facility. But we're gonna let these research nodes come together. We're gonna put them in here and then we're gonna unlock the planner. And then that way we can start setting that up. I think, I don't know if we'll, I can't remember how much soil they need. This is something that we're gonna do this video or next. Cause I just got, I just became aware of where we're at video wise. So let's, let's look through our, our tech tree, see what we can unlock. And then we might set this up. That the next video Task actually let's, let's just try Planter. supply with seeds to rapidly reproduce fully grown flora electrical power required so, so these are going to require power but yeah let's just go ahead and if we have the resources let's let's think through maybe creating a couple of these we can create one <laughs> so let's just Let's just set one up and then we'll call it the video. Let's clear the inventory. And then we'll kick that back off. And now we got the plant thing. Where do we want to put this? So we need a, a way to take the seed out and then put another seed in. So let's put it here. We're gonna delete this light. And then we're gonna start with the Kildervine seeds, because those are, if I remember right, are the fuel source, versus this is just for the, the coolant, and I might have it backwards, but we're gonna start with this. We're gonna put four of them in there. As long as it has power, it'll start to grow. But then we also have to set up the system to take in and then exit it out like so and then we'll set up a conveyor belt uh, the more I'm thinking about this the more I don't like where I put it because we're gonna need multiples of these yeah hopefully that didn't ruin the seeds we're gonna need multiples of these, so we need to almost put a, a thing in between. Can't, uh, I guess, I'm just gonna put it on the 
back into this. Like, yeah, let's put it right here. There we go. And then we'll put our insert. Is that, oh man, that, that didn't work either because there's this pipe here, but we can pipe it. We'll go around it. So we want to go in, we're going to go out, and then we're going to put these seeds here. There we go. It's going to start growing. Crank it back over, and then we'll bring a conveyor belt down here for when the seeds are done, and then we'll bring another conveyor belt down here, and we'll turn it, and then turn it again for when we need to fuel it with seeds, and we'll, we'll kind of start creating this little system here. So I think that's gonna do it for this video. We, uh, we set up the Acumeters, we set up our first planter, we got some seeds growing. We found this, uh, the, I guess the warehouse. We got our thrashers, we got our planters. We started unlocking a bunch of tech. So if you like this video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified of new videos. And as always, my name's Josh. This is Create the Future. Until next time, talk to you guys later. Stay creative.